the top tourist attraction in Ireland is the Irish National Stud. L'un des plus importants endroits touristiques, sites touristiques d'Irlande, c'est l'Irish National Stud, une sorte de Mont Saint-Michel à l'Irlandaise. Nous sommes ici à Kildare. We are here in Kildare and there is some top stallion here. And Sinead Highland, hello Sinead, could you introduce us to the Irish National Stud? You're very welcome here to the Irish National Stud. We're here in County Kildare, 40 minutes from Dublin. And as you mentioned, we're one of the top tourist attractions in the country. We'd have over 100,000 visitors a year. And today we're here for the Thoroughbred Stallion Trail. And we have 10 stallions to, um, to show all of our visitors. And it's public, it's open there to everybody, is it? Yes, we're open to the public. We reopen to the public on the 1st of February until November. And we're also a, a full breeding operation. So we have breeders here who have their mares living all year round and for different smaller phases. So it's a, a balance between tourism and a stud equine business as well. And the Japanese garden. Et oui, effectivement, un bon équilibre entre le tourisme et l'aspect professionnel, car c'est un grand hara professionnel. C'est ici où est né Six the Stars. Il y a 10 étalons, il y a plus de 100 000 visiteurs à l'année. Ça ouvre à peu près à la mi-février. Et donc le fameux jardin japonais qui attire tant de monde. Invincible Spirit, 100 000 euros la CI. Nous allons le voir tout de suite. Many, many things to do to tell about uh, Invincible Spirit, uh, bloodlines and all that. But um, it will be 100,000 euros it most expensive time of his history uh why did you decided to 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 to, to choose this price Well, the board collectively would represent the syndicate and they look at his exploits this year and he really deserved, he's second to Galileo in Europe, so he deserved to have his, his price raised. If you look at his yearling sales this year, his top price yearling was 1.1 million. He sold over 50 yearlings, they averaged at a quarter of a million and nearly 200,000 euros of a median. He had the world champion Myler in Kingman and then three time group winning Charm Spirit, a very exciting filly now for three for as three year old Alia Acta who won the three pre oh, I'm gone, sorry. Non, non, mais c'est bon, ça m'arrange parce qu'il y avait déjà beaucoup de chiffres, donc je vais essayer de me rappeler de tout ce que Sinet vient de dire. 100 000 euros pour le cheval. Le syndicat a décidé de le mettre à ce prix-là, tout simplement, et eh bien en conséquence de la réussite qu'il avait. Charm Spirit, Kingman. Les Yearling, un cheval qui a fait 1,1 million. Euh, 50, 50 Yearlings, you said, sold. Yeah, 50 Yearlings avec une moyenne de 250 000 euros. Et puis donc, voilà, beaucoup, beaucoup de champions. Et puis aussi... Euh, un père de père, Invincible Spirit. Invincible Spirit is also a sire, sire. He is, he's got 10 sons at stud now. He has I'm Invincible in Australia, who's champion first season sire. Zebedee was one of the leading first season sires last year. Loma now sire of sires, but most improved at stud. So he really is stepping up and he, now we had the first Swiss Spirit foal born here last week. So he'll have his first foals appearing this year. Mason, the list goes on. So really, really excited to see his legacy continue and um, he's also starting to come through as a broodmare sire himself as well so he's the future looks really bright for him voilà alors un bon étalon mais aussi un bon père de père et pareil encore beaucoup beaucoup de noms euh, mason il euh, y a cette zebidi zebidi qui a réussi un, un début fracassant zebidi qui fait la monte à talio stud et beaucoup euh, d'autres euh, futurs étalons à venir maybe charm spirit soon voilà en tout cas les premiers produits de charm spirit qui sont allés au hara il y en a aussi en, en australie qui marche très très bien donc voilà invincible spirit un père mais aussi un père de père The international superstar American who gave who gave so much uh, to the French public when he won the Melbourne Cup. Uh, could you resume his destiny, uh, his destiny, and uh, as a racehorse, but now as a, as a stallions because he travelled a lot. He did. He originally started his stud career in Calumet Farm, uh, where he has his first yearlings now in 2015. So he'll have approximately 52 year olds to run from next year. He's just returned from Swettenham Stud in Australia, where he covered over 130 mares. So he's extremely popular, and we're very delighted to have him here at the Irish National Stud. We have a lot of speed influences in our stallions, so he balances out the roster, having won from seven up to 16 furlongs himself, culminating in the 150th Melbourne Cup. Alors voilà, donc américain, un cheval qui a beaucoup apporté à la France, il a offert sa première Melbourne Cup en 2010 à la France. Il a commencé sa carrière des talons à Calumet Farm aux états unis et là il revient tout juste de Sweetenham Stud Australia. Et donc il arrive ici en, en Irlande, en fait c'est une bon, bonne balance, un bon équilibre. Ici il y a beaucoup de chevaux de vitesse et lui était un cheval plutôt de, de, de tenue, hein, ce qu'il a prouvé sur les 3200 mètres de la, de la Melbourne Cup. Alors pourquoi fait-il la monte ici en Irlande Pourquoi son propriétaire a choisi Why did the owner choose to, uh, to send a horse in Ireland for this year He wants to make him an international sire, so he'll have representatives in America, he'll have representatives in Australia, and now he will have horses in training in three years' time. So that's he's starting here in Ireland now as well. So he 
He's the highest earning son of his sire, Dinah Former. He's a lovely pedigree, fantastic race record, and he's a beautiful individual, as you just saw. So he wanted to make him available to the Irish public and English and French also, whoever would like to send their mares here to him in Ireland. Alors, son propriétaire américain, comme le nom du cheval, qui est un milliardaire américain, veut faire de son étalon un étalon international. C'est pour ça qu'il le fait voyager et qu'il a amené le cheval en Irlande et qu'il va continuer à le supporter et envoyer même ses futurs produits à l'entraînement chez Dermot Weld ici en Irlande. Voici ça pour le, voici pour le destin international d'Américain. Famous Ney was a racing superstar uh, for years from two to seven. Now he's a stallion. Could you introduce him as a stallion prospect? Um, famous name is the only son of Dan Silly um, standing in Ireland. He ran 38 times in his race career, 37 in stakes company and won in place 35 times. An extremely consistent horse with a great attitude. Dermot Wells said he just really looks forward to training his progeny. He won over one and a half million in prize money and Lord Grimthorpe said he's the winning most horse in the history of the pattern. He's very, very much cherished by Judmont and they're very excited to see how his first foal sold in November and we're very excited for his future too. Alors voilà, euh, quelques chiffres pour résumer la carrière de Famous Name. De 2 à 7 ans, 38 courses, dont 37 dans des courses de black type et 35 fois euh, à l'arrivée. Euh, donc c'est absolument extraordinaire. On a un nombre incalculable de groupe 1, deuxième division d'état dans le jockey club. Et puis donc aujourd'hui, il a ses premiers yearlings, you said he has Yeah, voilà, des premiers yearlings. So what happened with the first yearlings now? They went to the sales. They went to the sales in November and the top price called made 105,000. His stud fee is 4,000 euro. So it's excellent return for breeders. He sold 14 foals and they averaged at 25,000. So it's, um, we're very excited to see how they to see them appear now in the October sales, the yearling sales, and then for 2016 when they hit the racetrack. Voilà, donc beaucoup de choses attendues en ce qui concerne Famous Name, qui aura ses premiers deux ans en 2016. En attendant, évidemment, toute l'équipe ici attend beaucoup les premiers yearlings sur les rings de vente en 2015. Ça a plutôt bien commencé autour des, des rings, puisque avec ses premiers falls en 2014, il a vendu un poulain 105 000 euros ici à Tattersalls, Irlande. Donc voilà, beaucoup d'attentes placées dans le fameux Famous Name.